War crimes are, simply put, a violation of the rules of war laid out by the Geneva Conventions in 1949 in an attempt to avoid the bloodshed of the Second World War. They include the hostage taking of civilians, the deliberate killing of civilians or prisoners of war, torture, rape, recruitment of child soldiers, and genocide. Before war crimes can be prosecuted, investigators need to gather the evidence that forms the underpinning of an arrest warrant and an indictment. That can be difficult if evidence from crimes has been burned or deliberately removed. And that was a real problem in Bosnia in the 1990s, according to Carlo Del Ponte, the former chief prosecutor of the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia. Del Ponte says any investigation into alleged war crimes committed by Russian forces or ordered by their commander-in-chief would benefit from the cooperation of Ukrainian officials on the ground. That means in the case of Bucha, the town outside Kiev where burned bodies were just discovered. The fact it's now in Ukrainian control would definitely help investigators. Even if Putin were indicted, the chances of him ever standing trial in The Hague are slim to none. Russia signed the charter creating the International Criminal Court in 2000, but never ratified the agreement to become a member. Putin then withdrew Russia altogether after the ICC ruled that Russia's takeover in Crimea in 2014 amounted to a military conflict and was therefore under its jurisdiction. That means that barring a change of regime in Moscow and a new government sympathetic to the ICC, Russia won't recognize the legitimacy of the court, and provided Putin never leaves Russia, he'll remain a free man. Mm -hmm.